Hey yogis, welcome to Yoga for Dentists. I'm Dr. Josie DeVidio, longtime dentist and certified yoga teacher. The other day in the Yoga for Dentists Facebook group and Instagram, I posted this pic. And it generated a lot of questions, so I thought I would create a quick video for you today explaining this pose. This pose is called Malasana, but it's also known as Garland Pose and Yogi Squat. Hip flexibility is a big problem with dental professionals because we spend a lot of time sitting. And when you're sitting for prolonged periods, your inner thighs, hip flexors, and groin can really shorten and tighten. So that can lead to some back and hip pain. So I thought this would be a good way to show you how to do this pose to help loosen up some of that area. If you have props, I would encourage you to have them handy. This would include a yoga block, a yoga blanket, or you can use a rolled up towel. Let's meet on the mat. So we'll start in mountain pose, which is a great place to start. I do have a mountain pose video, so if you want to review that, you can as well. It's a great way to just kind of realign yourself and make sure you're straight to begin with. Your feet right now are about hip distance apart and parallel to each other. So take a little step so that your feet are a little wider than hip distance apart. And then make sure your toes are pointing out away from each other a little bit. Pressing into all four corners of your feet, swing your arms up, palms facing each other, coming together into prayer pose. Some people call this namaste pose or Anjali Mudra. And then from here, you're just gonna proceed to bend your knees and squat down. At some point, you may feel the need to lift up your heels. Go ahead and do that, putting your weight into the balls of your feet. But when you get down into the squat, place your elbows on the inside of your legs, just underneath where your knee bends, and then see if you can press your heels back onto the mat. Okay, see if you need to adjust anything to make that feel more comfortable. Straighten and lengthen through your back, out through your neck. And then see if you can press your knees a little further apart by pressing your elbows into your knees. Make sure that your weight is in the heel. And then you would just sit here for a few minutes and this allows your groin, your inner thigh to just stretch a little bit and lengthen. Okay, to come out of this pose, just simply place your hands down to the ground, lift your bottom up away, turn your feet in parallel and roll yourself back up to standing. Now we're gonna do it again with the props because sometimes you can't get down all the way. So one of the props I love to use is my block. And I put this approximately where my bum's gonna be when I come into the squat. So again, lining yourself up, toes pointing away from each other, coming into the squat. And then from here, if you can get your heels down, great. If you can't and you're needing something to sit on, if you can get down on this level, great. Or you can turn the block up and sit on the block. Adjust yourself as needed. But it's the same concept, keeping your back straight and lengthened, elbows on the inside of your knees, just below them. We don't want to put any pressure on the knee joint. And then pushing your legs away from each other just to create some space in here. And then one more use of props that I will show you is with the yoga blanket. So I'm going to stand up, remove my block. And this time I'm going to use my blanket to support my heels. Maybe it's a day where you're extra tight and you cannot get down to your heels. I just prepare ahead of time. Have your toes pointing out, come into your squat. Okay, and then let's say, hmm, I'm not gonna be able to get my heels down all the way. Just slide the blanket underneath your heels. And then place your elbows just underneath your knees, pressing your elbows into your legs so that you can get more opening into here. If you can, just sit here for a few breaths and, you know, until it feels about time to come out and then just roll yourself out. 
So that, my friends, is yogi squat, garland pose, or malasana. I hope this video has given you some tips and tricks to work with in gaining some hip flexibility as you practice this pose. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up so that I know to create more content like this for you. And feel free to share it with your dental friends. I hope to catch you on the Yoga for Dentists Facebook group or Instagram. I'll see you there.